Okay, we have a bit of a problem. The saw blade got stuck. So I'm the sales department today. Good morning and welcome to another day with Jenny and Davis where you get the chance to be the viewer. Jenny's sick. Jenny has a stuffy nose and just doesn't feel good and I just told her to sleep in. I would take care of everything this morning. So I'm the sales department today. Just kidding, I have to turn all these slats into cutting boards. It looks like this is gonna be a batch of 56 cutting boards. This is really good. I only thought this was gonna be 30 or 40 boards worth of material, but it's actually 56. And so the Kanban board is really helping out over there. You can see I hung it up on the wall yesterday. I'm actually on track to make as many boards as I'm supposed to this week, so. When I actually turn this giant fan on, it actually blows cool air instead of a hot blow dryer. So, I got that going for me. You know, now that I think about it, this has been a pretty terrible week. It's been the worst week we've had in quite a while, honestly. This week we were trying to get all of our bank statements and stuff to our bookkeeper and we had a little bit of an issue accessing our bank statements from the online portal that our bank uses. And we've been dealing with this for a few months. If you'll remember about a year ago, Jenny and I actually closed our bank account with one of the bigger banks, the bigger national banks, and opened up accounts at a smaller credit union, you know, hoping that we could actually get to know some of the personnel and work through issues, you know, on a small scale. Well, then we get a call and they tell us that the last like six months they actually gave permission to view our bank statements to another member of the credit union so someone else had full view of our spending habits of our account number of our routing number of just like every piece of personal information that's on our bank statements so they recommended that we close that account and open up a new account you know just for security purposes i mean these accounts that's what we were purchasing lumber with. That's what we were paying off the business credit card with. That's what we were paying our employees with. And we had about half a dozen checks out that were waiting to be cashed and they wanted us to close the account. Yeah, I mean, this has just been a recurring nightmare for us from the big banks, from the small credit unions. I just, we're just so fed up with it. I really don't understand why it's so hard for a business to open up a bank account. And in our opinion, having a separate business checking account is crucial. Hi, I'm feeling better now. One of the best pieces of advice that we got was having a separate checking account to separate personal and business money. And with all of the problems we've had with both big banks and small credit unions, we're excited to announce our partnership with North One. North One is a business banking platform inspired by small business owners for small business owners, freelancers, and entrepreneurs. They save you time and take the stress out of banking for your business. It takes just three minutes to download the app, create your account, and once you create your account, you'll get a debit card so that you can make secure and contactless purchases. Whether you're at home or on the go, everything you need to manage your business finances is at your fingertips. You'll never need to step inside a bank ever again. <laughs> I know we're excited about that one. Seriously, guys, it is very clear that they built this product for small business owners. You can integrate to PayPal, Shopify, Stripe. You can even link your QuickBooks software. And they've got this cool feature called envelopes. And it can help you budget ahead of time for the bigger purchases as your business grows. For example, we're saving up for a really big tool to be discussed and revealed later. So subscribe to make sure you don't miss it. But we're stashing a little bit of cash away now so that when the time comes, we can just pay cash and buy it. And the best part is that there's no added fees. North One takes pride in being radically transparent. You get free ACH transfers, no overdraft fees, free deposits at over 80,000 locations, and access to over 2 million ATMs. And North One only charges a $10 monthly fee. So click the link in our description and download the North One app now. New users who use our link and download North One will automatically get a $10 credit when they open and fund a new account. Thanks North One for sponsoring this video. I am so glad that small business owners have a much better option now. Guys, I really think this is gonna be the solution to all of the banking issues that we've encountered over the years. I'm really excited to partner with them and I really wanna share the benefits with you guys also because I know how frustrating dealing with the banks can be. So in addition to the whole bank fiasco, this week I almost hurt myself on the miter saw. Good morning and welcome to another day with Jenny and Davis where you get the chance 
to be the viewer. Today is a very big day because it's the first time uh, that I have built boards on time. Thanks to the lovely Kanban board now, I know that I've got to build some cutting boards. So I should have 50 boards worth of material here. And wouldn't you know, look, there's cutting board material. It works, guys. So I'm gonna take this, this is cherry, this is maple. I'm gonna chop all this up and start to mill it so that we can build our cutting boards. I'm really dreading this part because this miter saw, even with Drew Fisher's little suction gate thing, like when you make about 200 cuts in one day, it doesn't matter what type of dust collection you have on a miter saw, it's gonna go everywhere. But I'm just sick of how much sawdust this saw creates. Like, this is, this is ridiculous. It's on the dust collection hose. The dust collection hose is getting dusty because it's not doing its job. I have requested from the uh, Samara budget office a new miter saw and a new dust collector for the miter saw. But between this miter saw and the table saw, those are the two dustiest tools that we have. Like, all the, look at this, this first aid kit. It's like 10 feet away and it's still like covered in sawdust. Okay, we have a bit of a problem. The saw blade got stuck. Man, I don't know how to get this saw blade out. back from Home Depot and I got a new blade and uh, we're just gonna try it again. 12 seconds later. Well, 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 well. Look what happened again. I was about halfway through cutting the wood and I was gonna finish the cut and I decided that I was going to let the saw blade stop and then I was gonna pull it out. I've just had problems with like kickbacks sometimes. And the problem was when I let the saw stop, the blade spun and then the friction of the wood like bound the blade up. This wood is very tense. It's just squeezing the blade too tightly. And so, yeah. <laughs> And we've also spent some time training the new salespeople, but hiring has been a massive headache. And the last thing, and this is where it gets a little bit dramatic, but we've been in a fight with the local mailman, and I know how ridiculous that sounds. It's one of those things that just started off on the wrong foot, and it's just been an absolute train wreck ever since. When we first moved into this commercial space, we left the door unlocked one day and Bruce was here. Well, the mailman came to deliver an Amazon package and he got spooked by Bruce. I get it, he's a big, black, scary dog. The mailman doesn't know that he wouldn't harm a fly. As soon as it happened, Bruce never got within 10 feet of him, but as soon as that happened, he walked out of our building and I was just trying to apologize and calm him down. He wasn't having any of it, he got mad. Again, I totally understand. But it didn't just end there. I asked him what he needed to do to feel comfortable delivering mail. And he said, you need to have a box out front. I can just put packages in and the dog stays inside. And I said, okay, great, we'll get you a box. So we got him that huge box and he never used it. He left us a note saying that all mailboxes have to be inspected by the postmaster and that we needed the approval before he would deliver mail to that box. A little petty, but you know what? I'm a government employee, I know how this works. I'll play your little paperwork game. So I fill out the little form and I go to the little post office to get the mailbox inspected and go to pick up the packages. Cause I'm thinking if he didn't deliver it there, it must be waiting for me at the post office. Well, no, they're still on his truck. Now he's holding packages on his truck to annoy me, I, I, I don't know, to get even? I. So he's not putting them in the box, he's not dropping them off at the post office. And so Jenny gets on the phone with the postmaster for the region and says, hey, here's what's going on. Can you please inspect our box so we can start getting our mail? He came, he inspected, said the box was good. I say all this not to demonize the mailman, but now we've been having a ton of packages uh, go missing, get delivered to the wrong address. Now I don't know if it's just a regular problem with the mail or if it's more drama from the mailman. 
we decided, hey, let's use one of our redundant systems. We're all about building systems here in this business. So we have a backup mail system. So we have a UPS box that you guys have sent fan mail to in the past. And I would love to tell you that that's been a wonderful experience. But it hasn't. Last Christmas when we were buying computers and stuff for the office, they lost the computers. They lost this computer, my computer, Jenny's computer, and Caleb's editing laptop. They got put back on the delivery truck. And how that relates to this week is I started shipping things to that P.O. box trying to circumnavigate the postal service, and now the UPS box is starting to lose the mail and misplace packages and not notify me when we have a package there. We're gaining momentum before the 2022 holiday season, and if we want to turn no one away and we want to deliver everything by Christmas, we're going to have to have better weeks than than we've had this week. None of what we're dealing with is particularly bad. Everybody's healthy. This is not a, oh, woe is me video. It's just running a business is death by a thousand cuts. Sometimes you just take an L when you didn't do anything wrong. This week we had the bank fiasco. I lost my temper at the miter saw. We had about half a dozen people cancel job interviews that we stayed late for and we're missing our mail. And the mail that we're missing is for a fundraiser for hurricane disaster relief. And we can't even show you the shirts. They're so sick this year. We chose red as the color and I'm so excited to see them, but I, I like, I just, <sighs> we've just gotta be persistent. We have to be more patient and more persistent than our problems. Boards are getting shipped out. Nobody's getting a late shipment. Jenny's still making sales. We're paying rent. We're keeping the lights on. We're getting YouTube videos published. We just got to rest in the fact that we know we were called to start this business and to run it. And even though we hit a couple bumps in the road, we know that there's a better future ahead. Having that kind of faithfulness allows us to take rest when we need rest, like Jenny this morning, sleeping in. But it also gives us motivation to work extra hard when things get tough. You can't lose if you don't quit. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan Stick to the plan Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan